So at the moment, there's this uh, excitement about all the things which are happening on the internet, which where the creativity of people who are using the internet, using the web to build all kinds of new things, new businesses, new ideas for teaching and so on, uh, is, uh, is, is just continues to rise. But on the other hand, lots of people are worried. They're worried sometimes when they see a monopoly in one area or another, and they're worried that the innovation is going to stop, or they're worried about attacks, they're worried about the security of the system. Um, in general, I think people realize that, that the openness of the internet is important and some of the people who come along more recently don't, don't realize, didn't understand about how it's based on open standards, about how difficult it was to persuade some companies originally that those standards should not involve paying royalties. Uh, when the original web standards were produced, then CERN, where I worked, said that it would not charge royalties, and since then we've kept that tradition. And so that's one example of where uh, people come in new, look, uh, look at that as being an important part of the openness. Lots of other parts of the openness, the fact that it's this decentralized system, the fact that it's, um, that you don't have to register if you make a new application on the internet or a new application of the World Wide Web, you just do it. All these things. So I think the openness is this fundamental thing that uh, is in everybody's minds and everybody's desperately uh, uh, wanting to figure out how to protect that for the future. One of the funniest things we tend to do uh, is to, we look back at the pace of uh, the things that happened and, and the telephone came quite rapidly and then radio came more rapidly and then the internet came and the web came and things have come faster and faster and faster and then we look at that accelerating, or rather, uh, sort of roller coaster, exponential increase in the rate of uh, technology arriving, and then sometimes we imagine that now it's got there. And, we, and when we look at the future, we think, "Oh, okay. Now, what will we, and we imagine the internet is going to be the same? It's going to be the same. Of course, that's ridiculous. The pace of, of evolution is going to continue faster and faster. And every time that we build a new platform, we, the moment the internet platform was built, it allowed me to develop the web 20 years ago, the internet platform was 40 years ago, 20 years ago the web. And now we've got the web as a platform, then that allows all kinds of things to develop on top of that. And each of those, many of those social networking sites themselves are platform for people to develop more things on top. So now it's getting faster and faster and faster. The whole point about it is that we can't imagine what is coming around the corner. But it's really important that we keep this openness, of course, so that we get that rate of, uh, that increased rate of, uh, 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 of innovation. But certainly, to, but to imagine that we have seen the growth and we're going into an S-curve uh, and it's going to level off is a little crazy, I think. One of the things that I'd like people to do is to build websites, build thing, applications on the internet which support really responsible democracy. I like to see people who put out arguments, make speeches held accountable by having that speech taken apart and track back, by the, get their staff to track back and justify each of the things they said and allow other people's staff to go and pick it, uh, pick it apart, allow people to go and have uh, sorts of debates out there, but debates in a way which are much more civilized, much more respectful and respectful of the facts. So that's, there's a, uh, maybe it's a new protocol you need to design, maybe it's a website, maybe it's a, I, I know some kind of new system that runs on top of a bunch of communicating websites, but support for democracy is just one of the, uh, one of the many things that we need out there.